In this video, we will show you how to work with the import and export function in TAC plan. Start by opening a schedule where you want to export or import spreadsheet data. Ensure you have already created the location structure in your project, as this is the basis for your imports and exports. Now go to the grid view. In the grid view, your tasks are displayed as tasks and subtasks by name, start, finish, and precision. It's also possible to see the duration on specific locations, where a star means that a task isn't on that location, and a number indicates the duration. Copy the information to your clipboard and open a spreadsheet such as Excel. Here you can paste the data, preferably in the top left cell. You now have all information in a spreadsheet structure, with task information on the left, and duration and locations on the right. In the spreadsheet, you can edit current task information, for instance by changing their name and duration or even start and end dates. You can also add new tasks by defining the task's name and the start date. To further detail duration, you can either add an end date for the task or specific durations on specific locations. If location durations are left blank, the duration will be distributed evenly on locations from the start to the end date of the tasks. You can also optionally input if the tasks should be paced, or performed ASAP. If you input location precision, you enter the number corresponding to the location level on which you want the location to be defined, for instance, 1 for staircases. If you want to define the duration of a task per location, add a new task and a start date, and optionally choose if the task is performed ASAP or paste. Choose the location precision, and now you can simply define the duration on each location, and the end date will be defined based on the total duration. It's essential that you leave the ID column empty for new tasks, and don't edit it for existing tasks. When satisfied, mark and copy the rows of all tasks you wish to update in TAC plan from ID to the last location. Press the Paste from Clipboard button, and a small pop-up might appear. Here it's important to allow the site to input pasted data. If not, the function isn't allowed to overwrite, and must be reset to do so in your browser settings. When completed, you can verify that the import has functioned correctly. For instance, my two subtasks for framing and first side gypsum have changed their name. I also see that my added tasks start dates are incorrect, but remember that they are set to be performed ASAP. This means that without dependencies, they will be set to the start of the project. I also verify that the right column's durations are correct, and therefore save my import. After importing, the tasks will appear on their dedicated location in your schedule views, for both talk time, and for flow lines. 